Not long ago, in a town much like yours, there was a young woman who was very happy. Until one day her heart broke so violently that her sorrow echoed through space and time. So our saga begins tonight, yet eons ago, just here. Hello and welcome to the channel and Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year everyone. And uh, today we're reviewing Sayonara Wild Hearts. I'm glad you said it because I wouldn't be able to say it. <laughs> so let's go with the video. And roll the intro. Right, Sayonara Wild Hearts, if I've said it right. It didn't do too bad, actually. It didn't do Better too than bad. I thought. Well, that's alright. Uh, at current time of filming, you can get it on PS4, Switch is what we're playing it on uh, at the moment, iOS, and Windows. Yep. It was released on the 12th of December for Windows only, and then for everyone else, it was released on the 19th of September 2019. Apple Arcade as well, wasn't it? I think, I think so, I thought it was yeah. Apple Arcade exclusive. Uh, there is there is price difference throughout it. On Windows, it's ten pound twenty nine. For the Switch, it was ten pounds ninety nine. Uh, PS4 is the cheapest that we found. Got to have that Nintendo tax. The Nintendo tax is definitely on there somewhere. PS4 is nine pounds forty nine. Uh, I don't know how much it is on iOS because I don't own an Apple phone. And we don't play mobile games. No. We can. But as well, you, you, there is a physical copy, isn't there? You can buy. There it. is. I found a physical copy, and it is on. I am eight bit. Yes, and I'm actually going to pick up a copy of this game because, uh, well, you'll find out during the review. But yeah, it is a considerable amount expensive, though, in my eyes. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Yeah. Dollars. That is though. Was it dollars? That's dollars. Oh, okay, I'll let you off. Yeah. Then. So that's not too bad. I thought he was going to say British pounds. What's that about? Twenty-seven quid. Yeah, yeah. It's not bad, man. No, uh, yeah, I'll let you off it. I thought it was pounds, and I was going to... That's worth it in my eyes. I was going to strangle you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this was the uh, actually last game that I played in 2019. Um, we was actually hoping for this to be our last review of 2019, but due to um, unforeseen circumstances and illnesses, what have you, um, unfortunately we couldn't get it up in time so that's why it's now our first video of uh, 2020. 2020 so um, yeah so Sayonara Wild Hearts I don't know what you guys know about this game but um, basically it's um, for anyone that's played games like Res it, it heavily reminds me of Res um, but not so much in the Res was more about making music um, as you played through it, um, and Res was well out there, man. I mean, yeah. you remember Res? Yeah, know? years and years ago. Yeah, actually. yeah. I mean, Res is great. I still need to play that in VR. Really, to be fair, with you. oh yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I'd love that. Even this was quite bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, we got we got uh, Raspberry to play this, and it nearly sent over the edge. Yeah, I've just I've literally just recovered from Vertigo. And it, honestly, disclaimer, do not play if you've got any vertigo symptoms. Uh, and if you're epileptic like me, make sure your meds are working. Because it, it does fly you off the edge. But, but it's a good game. Basically, it's, um, they call it a pop, pop album video game. Um, really, I don't think the music pop myself. I wouldn't class it as pop. It's in between that and dance, isn't it? It's yeah, dance, it's dance, a bit more upbeat, a yeah. bit more dancey to me but yeah. I really enjoy the music um, there's a basic plot um, basically it's about a young woman whose heart was broken across many universes and throughout all of time and um, the whole of the game is it's, it's you going through and um, fighting well it, these numerous bad guys um, as along to the music, the, the album, it's basically like playing um, a, a music video, I suppose. You could yeah, put it yeah, like I'll that. Give you that. Um, and going for the highest score while you're doing it. Um, but it's just a, it's, it's an amazing experience. It reminds me so much of. Um, it's got elements of some of my favourite things in there. It reminds me of Res, which is one of my favourite games. 
It's got elements of Nights into Dreams, which is my favourite game. Um, it reminds me of Scott Pilgrim, which is one of my favourite um, like book series. Also, I love the game. I, I really enjoyed the film as well. Um, and it's got respect to lots and lots of different um, geek culture in it. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, you're basically going through and you're fighting all these, um, they're like mod, mod um, versions of villains, different ones. You've got um, the Dancing Devils, the Howling Moons, the Stereo Lovers. Um, you've even got like uh, this lone one called the Hermit 64, which is just like this um, girl wearing a VR unit and you go inside it and it's like um, you're inside a retro game which is really cool um, so yeah and no no two levels are the same really I mean it's all well I say that it's all the same you're all going through it at breakneck speed moving forward all the time to, to really good music but yeah music changes in the, yeah the, the music changes, changes yeah the surroundings change as well yeah the surroundings change the music changes and they'll add something new on every level like like the screen you're seeing at the minute like they'll whack um, all of a sudden they'll whack gu uh, guns onto your motorbike and then you're shooting um, like wolves they just change into wolves and then you just shoot wolves and then um, another level you may be running along or like this level is really weird where they like these these two, um, I can't remember their name but they really remind me of David Bowie um, you're sword fighting them and then um, you end up slicing them into two and then they click their fingers and um, every time they click their fingers the stage changes so you've got to work okay. out the direction you're, you're driving in as you go along to try and um, get the high score and stuff. And it's just, the, it goes so well with the music and the, it's such a feel-good game as it well. It isn't random though, is it? So you start a level and you'll do the same journey to get the best no, high score. No, it's the same journey. Yeah, yeah, so obviously if you learn the patterns, you'll get a really good high score. Yeah. So it's yeah. not like a random... I mean, you can see this level, it's, it's got clear inspiration from Outrun. You know, it's just yeah, it could be that as well, yeah. They're so um, inspired by lots of um, retro things and stuff from all oh, geekdom. Geekdom. Geekdom, mate. Yeah. You gotta love a bit of geekdom. And yeah, I don't know, something about it just speaks to me and uh, I've got to be honest with you, huh? Um it's the best game I played last year. Well It is a good game, I'll give you that. It is a good game. It's short. I just think Got replayability. I think obviously if you, you haven't got Vertigo like that, I'd enjoy it a lot more. I really would enjoy it a lot more. Yeah, I think you might. Yeah. But um, you really liked Res, so I think yeah, you would like this. Yeah. It's just I, I'm getting over it, and you put me straight back into it. Don't get me wrong. This isn't. I don't know how to explain. It's more of an experience. This game than a game, and I like my. Res was the same though, wasn't it? Yeah. It's more like you need to be. In, it's in art, the game. It's art in game form, and I yeah. like my games like that. So it's not for everyone. Bear that in mind. It's I'm not. I'm sort of giving my final thoughts already. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you're, you're saying like that like graphic wise is not like it's not for their graphics, but you, it, you, it entices you into the actual game itself. Yeah. And if you submerge yourself in the game, you'll get the full benefit of pretty the, much. Of, of the so game. um, I think I better give my final thoughts in a minute. Actually, so uh. Let's get my final thoughts here. So, final thoughts. Yeah, it's it's definitely a great game. I recommend it to anyone who likes this sort of experience in, in their game. For anyone looking for um, a long game, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it's only an hour, hour and a half. You could finish it, but you'll keep coming back for more, even just to listen to your favorite track from it. Um, but you can always get beat your score. Yeah. So there is that enticing to but go back Yeah, to you could always come back to beat score. But yeah, I've got to give it 10 out of 10, I'm afraid. Yeah, 10, wow. Yeah, um, it's definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, well. And uh, I've already played through it four times since I bought it. And oh. I only bought it, um, I think I bought it December the 23rd. Wow. So yeah, I've been through it four times already. Yeah. So there you go with the replay. Well, my minute. opinion of the short period that I've played with it, it is a really good game. I think I'd enjoy it more, obviously, if I was a bit weller. But I'm going to give it an 8. 
I, th- I think it's good. It's not I bad. Think it's I think you'll enjoy it more um, when you play through it. And yeah. I've only played it a short period of time, guys, so I'm not really up to it. But um, but thank you very much for watching. Yeah, uh, we'll be bringing you new content. Um, and please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and we'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Take care.